Kadan Pika or hot chicken. So here we've got some garlic, onions, and black pepper. We'll add the soy sauce, vinegar, and water. The chicken. Now again, the drumsticks are easier for me, but you could use a whole cut up chicken, drumettes and wings. And just kind of stir this around and you're going to let this marinate for 30 to 60 minutes. Just make sure you have some hot rice cooking. Okay, we'll let that be for a little while. Alright, our oil is hot and ready. I'm just going to go ahead and put the chicken with the onions and garlic in. You get all of your chicken in, some of your garlic and onions, and we're going to let this cook and brown for 20 minutes, stirring occasionally, and then we'll add the rest of the marinade and the coconut milk in. Alright, it's been about 10 minutes, and if you can see, much of the liquid has evaporated. Just a little bit of the marinade. And then let this continue to brown for another 10 minutes. Alright, my chicken is browned quite nicely. I did add a little bit of the marinade during the last 10 minutes. I'm going to pour the rest of the marinade in. Okay. okay, you're going to bring this to a gentle simmer okay, for another 20 minutes and go ahead and cover the pot once it comes up to a little boil. All right, so this is simmered for 20 minutes. Okay, now I'm going to leave it uncovered and let it simmer another 20 minutes. All right, my liquid has reduced quite a bit, as you can see. I did go ahead and skim some of the fat off the surface, and I added half of my hot pepper flakes. So lower your heat. Go ahead and pour your coconut milk in. You don't really want this to come to a boil. Okay, so just bring that heat nice and low. And you can add the rest of your hot pepper in. Doni would be great, but easy access to pepper flakes. So, okay, give it a stir and just let this coconut milk heat up for a couple of minutes, three minutes. Okay, then you can season to taste with pepper and such. We'll go ahead and let this cook. 